In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take a second look at choosing between the versions of PowerDirector that you can choose from when you look at release number 17. You can choose between two versions that you own, the Ultra and the Ultimate, or you can use the subscription model, which is called 365. In our previous tutorial, we talked a lot more about the difference between the subscription model and the traditional model where you pay and own the software forever. But we'd like to focus on this one about the differences between Ultra and Ultimate. And historically, this has been the big choice that users have had for a long time in PowerDirector. If you decide you want the subscription model, just keep in mind you'll be getting everything in the Ultimate and then a few other items as well. So what is the difference between Ultra and Ultimate? Well, if you look at the standard pricing, the difference is $30. If you look at sale pricing, sometimes it's down to $20 difference. And I would encourage you to seriously consider, in either case, going for the Ultimate version because it has some nice features that you don't find in the Ultra version. Let me articulate and show you what some of those differences are. By the way, you might wonder, well, which version am I using? Here's an easy way to find out. You take your cursor and click on the question mark in the upper right corner of the screen, and you'll have a drop down. The drop down will have the last line that says about CyberLink PowerDirector. You can't see all of that line on the screen, but trust me, that's what it says. And we'll click on that. And then we have this window pop up, which tells me the version number, which is 17.0.2314.1, and the version type. And after type, you'll see one of three options. This one happens to be 365, but instead of 365, you may see Ultra, you may see Ultimate. So that's where you can determine where it is. So that's how easy it is to determine which version type that you have. So what is the difference between Ultra and Ultimate? Let's go through a few of them. The first one is that the Ultimate version has a program, an add-on program, called Adorage version 10. You get to that both in the transition room and the effects room. So let's go to the transition room. And then if I click on ProDad, it's a ProDad product. I click on the Dorage. I'm going to just take this box and drag it down between the two clips like any other transition. If I click on the Modify button at the bottom, it will say Standalone Effect. And that's important because if it's not a CyberLink product, and this is not, you'll need to click on a button like this. When I do, I get to see the effect. If I go to the Volume 10, I see all the elements that I get in the ultimate version of release 17 that I don't get in the others. If I look here, I have approximately nine different categories of transitions. But if you open up any one of them, you're going to see that you have many, many, many options underneath them and even sub options. There's a mixer wipe in this one. Let's go down to shape transitions and just click on 07 and there's a circle. That's just one of the nine categories. We could go to travel and transportation. I could click on helicopter here, and now I have a helicopter in my transition. <laughs> Rather creative. But if you uh, go through all the menus and sub-menus here, you find that you have quite a few different transitions you can use with this one tool. We'll cancel that. And then I'll, with it still highlighted, I'll click on the garbage can and remove it. You also can go not only to the transitions room, you can go to the effects room, to ProDAD again, and a Dorage. And now in effect, you don't put between tracks, you put on a clip or you can put it beneath a clip. And then if I want to adjust it, I'll click on modify, click on standalone effect again, and on volume 10, and I have the same list 
I have the same options that I had before, but now they're going to function a little bit differently because it's not a transition. It's an effect. And so I have all of these options, we'll cancel out of this, all of these options in CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate version when I get version 10 or Dorage 10. I'll click on that and remove it. So that's one difference. Let's look at a second difference. We also have an item called Vitacene. And if I take Vitacene, I can get into that either by going into the transition room or into the effects room. Let's go back to the transition room and move up to the area where my two clips meet one another and click on the Vitacene effect. And again, I'll get the same option because if I click on it, I need to click Modify and then Standalone Effect because it's a third-party product. And here I see all of the kinds of options I have. I have Shape Wipes. I have Filter Group 1, Transition Group 1. Let's take a transition. Let's go to a Light Wipe. And we can double click on it. And we can preview what it's going to look like up there. And I can play down here. And here we see the wipe in a larger screen between the first clip and the second clip. And so you have all these options added in the ultimate version. We'll shut this one down and we'll remove that particular transition. Again, you find this in the transition room, the Vita scene. You also find it in the effects room. So those are two of the differences. The third difference is also in the effects room and in version Release 17, the ultimate version, has Boris FX film style. When I click on it, I notice I have six options that I can use as effects under film style. It also gives me stylize. When I click on stylize, I notice now I have 17 more effects that I can use. And these two elements are part of Ultimate version 17 that you don't find in Ultra. Let's look at a couple of other options. When I go to my PIP room and click down, I see I have a Holiday Pack 9 installed on my version. That came from the Ultimate version 17. I click on that and I find here I have six different PIP objects. If I go to the Particle Room and click Holiday Pack 9, I find that I also have six different particles that have been added. If I go to the Title Room and click on Holiday Pack 9, I find that I have six new titles. So there are 18 in the Holiday Pack. I also get the Wedding Pack. So if I click on Wedding Pack in the title area, I have six new titles from the Wedding Pack. If I click on the Particle Room and go to Wedding Pack, I have three new particles. And if I go to the PIP Objects Room and click on Wedding Pack, I have six new PIP objects. So those are in addition in the Ultimate version that you don't have in the Ultra version. The last major element I'd like to look at is in the Title Room. When you get the Ultimate version, you also get Titler Pro, which is in the new blue category. They're in the manufacturer. And so we have Titler Pro. I can click and drag it down. When I put it in, a in any track that can accommodate a title, I'll let go. And here it says Enter Text. It looks nothing unlike what we have before, but when I double click on it, I find something different. I'm in a brand new title design option, and none of the features of Tyler Pro are documented inside of PowerDirector because it's a different program. But if you check out 
our tutorials here at Sharper Turtle, I have several dozen tutorials that show you all the neat things you can do with titles just using this one tool. So it really gives you a second title tool to use. So whether you get the ultimate version or the subscription model, you'll get all these features we've talked about in this tutorial. And whether you use some of them occasionally or many of them often, I think you'll find it worth the $20 or $30 difference uh, between the Ultra and the Ultimate. And if it's in your pocketbook to afford that, that's why I would encourage you to strongly consider using the Ultimate version if you want a product that you own permanently for PowerDirector Release 17.